Thank you, Chairman Colby. Thank you, board members and everyone viewing. It has been a full month of listening. I have been listening to lawmakers in Raleigh and we have been sharing priorities for the upcoming long session. I've been listening to teachers, to school staff, and to superintendents who are excited about having an authentic relationship and someone who will respond to their needs. I have been listening to the staff right here in the Department of Public Instruction and taking into consideration their views and suggestions for operational and organizational changes that could help the department run more efficiently. I've been listening to constituents and had the pleasure of students emailing me and just asking if they could stop by and meet the state superintendent. To their surprise, it was just that easy to meet the state superintendent. And one highlight of this month is I was able to read to my daughter's pre-kindergarten class. I read her favorite book, The Book with No Pictures. And it might sound like no fun to read a book with no pictures, but the book with no pictures has a few tricks up its sleeve. I'll remind anyone here and anyone watching that if you ever start to get tired or forget why you're here, why you're doing this work, go read a silly book to a group of young children and you will immediately be reminded why you do what you do. <coughs> I'm excited to announce that tomorrow is the first official stop on the NC Superintendent's Education and Innovation Tour. I will be in Forsyth County. Winston-Salem, after all, is North Carolina's city of arts and innovation. So what better place to start to look for innovation education? I will visit Glenn High School. Glenn High School, in the past few years, thanks to the work of their principal and of the teachers at Glenn, has raised its school performance grade a full level. I will also be visiting with business leaders in Winston-Salem to discuss their priorities, their feedback, and what they see the needs are for them, for our students coming out of our schools. I will visit the Innovation Quarter, which has been established to transform old tobacco warehouses in Winston-Salem as places for collaboration and research. And finally, I will visit with a group of leaders for a program called Project Impact that has taken community stakeholders and business leaders, put them together, and funded innovative ways for us to think outside the box about helping some of our most needing students. I also look forward to highlighting the Watson Innovation Program for Teachers. IBM will be providing the Watson computer free of charge for teacher professional development. All teachers have to go do is sign up. I look forward to highlighting this tomorrow uh, when, I, when I speak with stakeholders at the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Education Building. I'll leave you with this. I will have priorities over this summer, but first I will listen and I will hear and I will take in what <coughs> teachers, principals, and superintendents need from us. After my grandmother passed away, I ran for school board and as I was doing that I was flipping through her Bible uh, really just to see her handwriting she had beautiful cursive handwriting and I came across one verse that was underlined but didn't have a note next to it and that vote that verse as I embarked on my journey into education policy really spoke to me and I like to think that it was my grandma reaching out to me. It's James chapter 1, verse 19. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Thank you all, and I look forward to starting this journey with you.